Fat is super easy to gain, but even harder to lose. And once people gain it, it feels like it's impossible to lose it. And some of this is genetic, but most of it can be controlled. People try countless diets, lots of exercises, and try countless different things and waste a bunch of money on it. And today we're diving into the world of calorie blasting exercises that you can do anywhere and bid farewell to all of that fat. I'm gonna go through five different exercises that you can do at home with the last one being the most effective one. So stay tuned, this is gonna be a great video. You're gonna to learn tons and this may be a life changer. So in order to lose weight, we need to be burning fat, right? Well, the best way to burn fat is usually by getting energy out or calories out. And you can do that through exercise. And for all the exercises we do, the calories come to a very specific scientific formula calculated by Dr. William McArdle. And the formula goes like this. Calories burned equals MET times kilograms of body weight times hours. And MET is this metabolic equivalent task, which is just a fancy scientific word for basically saying how much energy do you expend on a specific task at hand and we're gonna be using the compodium of physical activities to look at exactly which exercises burn the most calories in the most efficient manner the compodium was made for health professionals and researchers to see how much energy people are burning per activity and it helps them calculate a whole bunch of stuff but people don't really talk about this I think this is really cool it's really detailed really specific and I'll drop a link below you guys can check it out and with that let's get into the top five exercises you can do at home to burn fat so on to exercise number five on our list. So exercise number five on our list is dancing. Turn on your favorite music and dance away. That's right, you heard me. Aerobic dancing is a really, really great exercise that you can do at home. It's super fun. You're gonna feel amazing. According to the Compodium, a person of around 80 kilograms, so that's like 176 pounds, will burn 292 calories for a 30 minute dance workout. That's so wild to me considering you're gonna be having fun. You're gonna be enjoying this. You can do this with others. You can do this in the privacy of your home home and you can burn a pretty decent amount of calories. This makes me want to go dance right now. <laughs> on to exercise number four on our list, cycling. Now you have to have a bicycle for this, but I'd argue it's very, very worth it. You get to go outside. You can get a stationary bike as well. You get to go outside, explore nature, just go around and be free. But wait till you hear this. Cycling has an MET of around eight. So if you do all that math out for the same weight 80 kilogram person that we had before, and if they did 30 minutes of cycling, they would be burning 320 calories. And this energy is calculated from a moderate pace bicycle. So you can go around your neighborhood at a moderate pace and you'd be burning a pretty, pretty hefty amount of calories. So number three on our list is running. Now this is the most obvious exercise. It's like the gold standard for weight loss. Everyone talks about it. They're like, if I wanna lose weight, go running, blah, 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 blah. But what's the actual science behind it? So if you run at like a moderate pace of six miles an hour for like 30 minutes, you'll burn around 360 calories. And this is all done while you're out in the world, exploring nature, enjoying yourself. Or you can even be on a treadmill at home and do this in the safety of your home. So moving on to exercise number two on our list. So this by far is probably one of the most elite exercises we've mentioned so far, and it's jump roping. Jump roping is so, so, so good for us. It has an MET of over 12.3. So if you do that on the formula, make it all nice, it burns around 492 calories. That's so wild. Like you're almost burning 500 calories in 30 minutes of jump roping, and you don't even have to leave your home. You can do this at home. And to take it a step further, you don't even need a jump rope. You can imagine jump rope and get it done. Like you can burn almost 500 calories with literally nothing. This may be the single most effective way to burn calories. And now onto the final exercise, the exercise you've all been waiting for, exercise number one on our list, walking. Yes, you heard me right. Walking is probably the most effective, efficient form of burning calories for all humans. And I'm going to tell you why right now. First off, you can do walking almost anywhere at any time. You can walk at your work, you can walk to school, you can walk while you're studying, you can walk your dog, you can walk with your kids. The possibilities are endless. Not to mention walking, you can do countless times over and over and over again in the day. While the previous exercises we mentioned, 
will probably fatigue you to the point where you don't want to do them again throughout the day. And the difference in walking is you can do your other activities in addition to walking while the other exercises you solely have to focus on them. So walking is really, really effective and efficient. So let's prove it with some math. For moderate pace walking, like the average walking pace, you have an MET of around three. Now, if you plug this into the formula for the same weighing person and you average four hours. Now, I'm not saying a continuous four hours of walking, this is throughout your day that you've done walking at a moderate pace. Plug it into the formula and look at this magic. You burn over 960 calories just by moderate pace walking. That's insane. That's almost a thousand calories in the whole day just from walking and this just goes to show you a moderate exercise doing repetitively over time burns more calories than those really fast-paced exercises that really tire you out and you can walk more anytime you want you can walk more during your lunch breaks you can walk more when you're studying you can walk more during recess you can do it endless possibilities and walking is the number one way to lose weight. So there you have it. Those are the top five exercises to lose weight and none of them require a gym membership. Keep in mind the calculations we did throughout this video are for that average pace person at that specific weight. So plug in your numbers, see what you get, and keep in mind, if you push yourself, you can easily surpass those calorie numbers we talked about. Those were average numbers. If you push yourself and do above and beyond, you can burn way more calories. So what are you waiting for? Put on some workout shoes and let's go sweat this fat away. Bye-bye.